Okay, so now we succeeded to load data from this text file. So now let me explain how to let the game write some uh, your progress into this save file. So I showed you last time, but in this case, I decided to make another NPC. So young lady, young save lady, so she can save data for you. So first, let's make this young lady. I'm going to add some text to this town gate. Uh, a young lady is standing on your left. Okay. And so, and change. move this leaf to choice 4. And talk to the young lady and uh, I think I'm gonna make another method here public void uh, talk lady or something hmm. yeah but before writing something inside of this method let's go to uh, this choice handler and right now she three is crossroad so let's change this uh, case c4 so now bottom 4 is uh, going to crossroad and the bottom 3 is talk lady break okay okay now we can make this talk lady method and first uh, position call talk lady and uh, okay let's copy this main text area and uh, young lady hello I'm a save lady uh, don't ask me anything just let me uh, record your progress and uh, line break line break and your progress has been saved okay and uh, same let's copy this paste this okay and from here we're gonna write some uh, program about saving data saving your current data so we're gonna make another try and catch and catch exception e and uh, it's actually it's kind of similar to this loading thing but this time we don't use this buffered reader but uh, we're gonna use a thing called a buffered writer and name this is bw or something and equal new buffered writer and uh, new uh, this time file writer and uh, save file text and import this buffered writer and also import this file writer mm. and so just like this loading data so we're gonna handle these three parameters player HP and monster HP and the weapon so and this time we are not reading these data but we are writing these data so first we're gonna write player HP so we type like this bw dot write and uh, uh, double quotation and the player HP mm. 
this buffer writer dot write can write only string but uh, by typing like this uh, you can write uh, integer as well and after this uh, we type like this new line so basically this means line break so after you write this information and then let's change let's go to the next line so that's what this means bw dot next uh, new line and then oops oops then uh, we write uh, monster hp then new line And then finally, uh, write weapon. So this time, weapon is a string, so you know you don't need to type like this double quotation plus. Just you need to put weapon in here. And okay, close. Yeah, and done. So kind of simple. So this is everything. Yeah, ah, and okay, sorry, I, I forgot. And we also display the result. So, HP label number set text player HP and uh, weapon label name set text. Uh, weapon okay and uh, also uh, talk lady so okay I need to add this button click result so talk lady and basically same as this attack guard or talk guard so just go back to this town gate Okay, I think this is everything. So let's check the result. So first, let's uh, choose the start, like normal normally. So okay, let's leave the town and go north. HP seventeen and uh, HP nineteen. Let's go east, and you got this long sword. So okay, let's save this data. So go back to the town and talk to the young lady. And uh, your progress has been saved. Okay, let's finish the game. And start the game again. And uh, let's choose this continue again. Okay. Yep, so your HP is 19 and uh, your weapon is not knife but long sword. Mm, so I think it, this is working. Good. Okay, I'm relieved. <laughs> so basically this is everything about this save and load tutorial but uh, I, uh, I think I want to add a bit more how to say extra information. So if you are planning to export your game as a jar file then uh, there is something you have to be careful about this save file. So as far as I know if I'm wrong, please uh, let me know. But uh, if, as far as I know, basically you cannot include um, editable files into a jar file. So editable files means like a save file or option files or something like that. So that's something you can change the content as you continue the game. So in this case, you will not include this save file into your jar file, but you put this file outside of your jar file. I'm going to show you an example. Okay, let's export this game as a jar file. First, right click and export. And jar file. Next. And adventure will save. Yes, this one. And... Uh, Okay, and uh, let's save this uh, adventure 
with say system or something. Okay, and uh, again. Okay. Okay, so this adventure with save system dot jar has been created and I'm gonna make a folder adventure and uh, put this jar file inside of this adventure and uh, so inside of this folder so I'm gonna put this save file too so like this so I'm gonna copy this save file so basically we put this jar file and the save file in in the same directory or folder so inside of this text file is on these informations are recorded okay let's start this game by double clicking this jar file and okay game start and if you choose this continue so you can load this data mm. and uh, so yeah if you change this like uh, 250 so yeah your HP is 250 so you can load this save data even after exporting your game as a jar file so like this so you can save and load the data so you can continue your game whenever you want so you can make a huge scaled game like uh, Final Fantasy or Diablo whatever mm. okay yeah so that's how to save and load data so I hope you enjoyed this and thank you very much for watching and see you again bye